हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू प्लेवर सर्किट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कंट्रोल 28 BYJ 48 स्टेपर मोटर यूजिंग ULN 2003 ड्राइवर बोर्ड विद एन आर्डिनो यूनो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड दिस इज द 28 BYJ 48 स्टेपर मोटर इट्स अ फोर फेस यूनिपोलर मोटर दैट रन्स ऑन फाइव वोल्ट एंड इट हैज फाइव वायर्स आउट ऑफ व्हिच दीस फोर वायर्स आर यूज्ड फॉर कंट्रोलिंग द मोटर एंड दिस वन इज द कॉमन वायर द स्टेपर मोटर मूव्स इन स्मॉल डिस्क्रीट स्टेप्स दैट कंबाइंस टू क्रिएट अ रोटेटरी मोशन The motor has a stirred angle of 5.625 degree and the gear reduction ratio of 1 by 64 which means it takes 64 step to complete a full rotation now let's learn about how we can actually drive them there are three basic methods for driving stepper motor first one is full step mode with single face on or wave stepping mode in this mode only one coil of a stepper motor is energized at a time as you can see here When all four coils are sequentially energized the motor takes full step coils are energized according to this table first phase 1 is energized then phase 2 then phase 3 and then phase 4 in this mode the motor rotates 2048 steps in one full rotation second one is full step mode with two phase on in this mode two phase are energized simultaneously as you can see here The motor takes one full step when all the coils are energized in this sequence. Third method is half step mode. In this mode, the motor takes half the size of the step as compared to the full step mode. So the number of steps per rotation is doubled. Thus, in one rotation, the motor takes 4096 steps. In this mode, the coils are energized in such a way that first one coil is activated at a time and two coils are activated simultaneously. as you can see here now let's explore the ULN2003 driver board this is ULN2003 driver ic containing seven darlington transistor pairs allowing it to drive the four coil winding of stepper motor each pair can drive 500 ma and 50 volt load the board has seven input pins out of which we are using only four to connect to the arduino here is a molex connector that allows you to plug the motor directly into it these are the step indicator leds that indicate activities on the four control input lines it also has a power input that we will connect to the arduino 5 volt and ground pins here is an on and off jumper that must be connected in order to provide power to the ic So these are the components we will be using for making this project. An Arduino Uno 28 BYJ 48 stepper motor, ULN 2003 driver board, some jumper wires, 5 volt power supply, a USB cable to connect the Arduino to your computer. Here is the circuit diagram. We will connect the motors to the driver and Arduino according to the circuit diagram. Let's get the motor connected to your Arduino. First we will connect external 5 volt power supply to the ULN2003 driver. Don't try to provide the power to the stepper motor with the 5 volt of Arduino as it may damage the board. Next we will connect the ground from the power to the Arduino. Next we will hook the motor cable from the stepper motor up to the ULN2003 driver. Then we will connect the motor drivers IN1 to the pin 7 of Arduino, IN2 to the pin 6, IN3 to the pin 5 and IN4 to the pin 4. Here we will discuss the code examples used to drive stepper motors in different modes. Here is the first example. Using this code we will drive the motor in full step mode with single face on. The stepper motor will rotate in both clockwise and anti clockwise direction for one complete rotation. In this code we are using the Arduino stepper library that is included in your Arduino IDE. So we will begin by including the stepper library. The pins connected to the stepper motor are defined here. Here we have defined the number of steps per rotation for the motors. We then initialize the stepper motor With these control pins, the stepper library makes this really straightforward. In the setup function, we set the speed of motor. Here, it set to 50 RPM. Finally, in the loop function, we instruct the motor to complete one full rotation in one direction. Wait for a second, then rotate in the opposite direction, and wait for another second. Let's take another example. 
Let's learn how to drive the motor in full step mode where only one phase or a coil is energized at a time without using any library. Firstly, we will define these four pins used to control the four coils of the stepper motor. The delay constant defines the pause duration between each step. This function sets the four output pins as a digital output. The loop function has two parts. First is rotating the motor in one direction for one full rotation and then rotating it in the opposite direction for another full rotation. This loop runs 512 times as 512 full steps correspond to one full rotation. We set the output pin to high or low, activating or deactivating the coil according to this table. Each iteration of the loop goes through four steps, activating one coil at a time to rotate the motor. After complete the forward rotation, we set all the output to low and introduce a delay of one second. Then in second for loop, we rotate the motor in opposite direction for a full rotation. This time the sequence of energizing the coil is reversed. Let's take another example. In this code, we will drive the stepper motor in full step mode with two phase on at a time. In the loop section, first we will make two output, one and two pin high and output three and four pins to low. This will energize two phases at a time. Thus, we make the output pins high or low according to this table in order to energize the next two coils in sequence. In the second loop, we reverse the step sequence to rotate the motor in the opposite direction. Let's take another example. Here is the code to drive the stepper motor in half step mode. In loop function, we set the output pins to high or low. According to this table, output 1 is a high and all other output pins are low. Then in next step, output 1 and 2 are high and other are low. We repeat this process until all coils are energized. Here each iteration of the loop goes through 8 half second, activating the coil in sequence to cause the motor to take a one step at a time. Now let's connect the Arduino to your computer and upload the first code. Let's see a stepper motor in action. As we can see the motor is first rotating in clockwise direction and then in anti-clockwise direction. So that's it for today's tutorial. Now you know how to control 28BYJ48 stepper motor using ULN2003 driver and an Arduino. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to play with circuit for more DIY electronics project. Thank you for watching.